Good evening, good evening, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. How you doing? I don't know why every time I start a video that I got to start singing. <laughs> I got to start singing. But hey, y'all. Hey, first off, I just want to say this. I want to start off by saying this. I want to thank all, I want to thank everybody, all my subscribers for getting me to 400. Yes. I remember I was at three. Then it's 400. You know, it took a while to get here, but hey, what I tell y'all? My numbers, I'm not worried about the numbers, but I am so thankful. And I appreciate all my subscribers. I do, y'all. I do. When I say I do, I mean I do, you know, although I'm doing this for entertainment, but I appreciate that y'all subscribe to me and y'all watch what I, you know, the content I put out here, you know, which is not drama, which is not uh, bullying and all that other stuff. You know, it's just fun, fun, fun for me, although sometimes I do have to come outside on some people, but that's neither here nor there, you know, because that's not the main focus of my channel. But, you know, some people just got to come out. They got to come out what they say, come outside on some people, you know, and with me, it's a one and done and ain't going to be none. <laughs> but Thank you, thank you, thank you to my 400 plus subscribers. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Okay, with that out the way, what I want to talk to this lady, uh, I just looked at her video. I try not to look at her videos because one, her voice kind of irks me. And who? I didn't watch all her video, but I watched enough of it to come over here to do this video. I will have visuals for y'all. I'm still learning. Like I said, every day, you know, is a learning process with me, with this YouTube. You know, I know how to go live. I know how to, you know, I know how to change backgrounds. I know how to, <clears throat> excuse me, I know how to, you know, do little things here and there. Um, I know how to do create shorts and things like that, but to do visuals, because I want to do visuals so y'all can see whom I'm talking about. But I'm going to say her name. I'm going to say it. Um, She is something else. This woman has been in social media. She's been on the news. She's been on TV even. She's been on the TV, and she's been on this TV program. You all probably know who she is once I say what. TV program she was on. She was on My 600 Pound Life. And as some of you may know, a lot of you may know her. Her name is Shanae Murray. I don't know if she's still going by Hawkins. I don't know if she's still married to her husband. Allegedly, she is still married to him, but she's not with him because he's with another content creator. Okay, we all know that. I'm not going to say allegedly on that because we all have seen him with this other YouTuber, content creator. She's a YouTuber as well. So with that said, this woman, I'm just fast woman. I'm not gonna even go back in the past, but she is known for being on my 600 pound life. She got kicked off the show, allegedly got kicked off because I don't really know if she got kicked off, but, um, or she just stopped going and they just gave up on her or whatever. I don't know the story behind that, but I was following her since then, and now she's on social media bad, and, you know, something is seriously wrong with this woman. She's finally had a child, now beautiful, handsome baby boy. I mean, handsome young man, and I'm not just saying that. He is a handsome, adorable baby. He was um, a premature child because she had him early. Um, I think he's, what, five months now? I believe he is. 
four or five, probably, I think, I believe he's five months. And recently, I mean, this woman, ever since, even before she had the baby, you know, she probably had him early because she's a heavy set woman. She's severely heavy set. Well, the word for it is obese. I mean, I'm going to say it what, it's, what it is. I used to be obese. And I'm, according to doctors, I'm still, but she's what they call morbidly obese. So probably she's high risk, more than likely she was high risk when she had her son, but he's here. But all these things that's going on with this woman is just absolutely ridiculous. Like recently, and uh, keeping it in real TV, Regina, she she did commentary on it because, I mean, it's some fuck shit. I mean, what this woman is doing, what Sinead is doing. Her channel is called Only One Life to Live, so Live It Loyal or something like that. But if you type her name in, it'll probably go to her channel because that's what she changed it to. I think it's Only One Life to Live, Live It Loyal. Something like that. But anywho, just recently, a couple of days ago, rather, um, like I said, I'm not going to go back, way back to, you know, I'm just summing it up a little bit about her. But just recently, this is what triggered me. The baby in the front seat, not strapped in the car seat. And probably about a few weeks ago, she got a car seat, um, but she had towels. And the, the car seat looked too big for the baby, for his size right now. And he was a premature child. Okay, y'all? He was a premature child. He was a preemie. And um, when you're a preemie, and when you're an infant still, I don't think you're supposed to turn the car seat forward facing until they are like maybe like six, seven, probably about eight months or so, maybe, right? Maybe six to eight months, I believe. I mean, my kids is grown now. I mean, woo, I forget that's so long ago. That is so long ago. My youngest is 21. So it's like so young, so so young ago, so long ago, you know. But you, I know that the car seats has to be facing, and by him being so little, he needs to be in a car seat that's not so big that'll swallow him up. And then, as she got well, for the cushions, she had towels. Some people may say, "Well, she got to do what she got to do." No, boo boo. They can they sell pillows. She could have bought a pillow or anything. Or I think she had a wish list for Amazon or something. <clears throat> a, a gift registry or something. She could have asked for that. They don't cost that much. Or she could have went into the store and got something. Or you know, I think she said she had a baby shower. Why didn't she ask for those gifts? When you have baby showers, I have baby showers. When you have baby showers, sometimes you ask for little gifts that people can possibly bring. You know, why didn't you ask for a, a, a pillow, a baby pillow to go in, a car seat pillow even, or a car seat with the pillow for your baby? They even sell them like that. You got this baby in a big old car seat that's swallowing his little tiny self. And keep in mind, this baby was a premature child. He was premature. And she got the car seat facing forward. You got to turn the car seat where the baby will be facing um, the back seat. Not where he can see you all, you know, even though he probably can't really see that well. But have him facing back the rear rear facing that's what they call it not forward facing she got the car seat for forward facing and got towels around him as cushions so his head won't be banging back and forth first she didn't have anything in that car seat 
Like, what is wrong with you, lady? Then just recently, this is what triggered me. Baby is not in the car seat. I don't know what she did, but I, I believe she said she was pumping some, she just got through pumping some gas, but I'm going to get to that. But the video was show, I seen the video on Keeping It Real TV. Regina showed the video that the baby wasn't in a car seat. The baby was in her mother's. We can clearly see because she uh, seen this guy that she knew um, or whatever, whatever she was doing with this guy. I'm, I'm not going to even get into that. Y'all can go watch her channel and find out about this guy. But she made it her point to get her phone out and start recording this dude. And as we can clearly see, when she had the camera on the dude, her mother was sitting in the seat with the seat pushed back, but the baby was right there in her mother's lap, not in the car seat. Why the car is in motion? Anything. And why she recording, knowing her eyes ain't on the road because she got the phone recording the guy. Stalking him. Is what I see. She was stalking him. Regina said she was stalking him. I think she was stalking him as well. Why are you messing with this man? This man ain't even turning around on anything, paying attention to you. But you show sure got your phone out recording this dude. Tell me, I look at him on live, on live. Then here it is, as of yesterday, it say the video she did. She did a live. I think it was yesterday. She went live, in line, saying she don't know who was holding her baby or something. No, I don't think she said she don't know who was holding her baby, but somebody was holding her baby. She had just got through pumping gas and she was tired. So she couldn't, uh, she forgot her baby wasn't in the seat. You could clearly fucking see the baby is not in the damn car seat. You know that was your mother holding that baby. Everybody could see that that was your mother holding that baby. And why is she holding the baby? Could she do it? And who gets tired from pumping gas? <laughs> you just standing there. That's a, that is fucking funny, ridiculous. It, it's funny, ridiculous. I'm not laughing at it because it's funny, funny. It's sad. I'm laughing because it's sad. It's sad for her. Like, I'm scratching my head, y'all. Like, what the fuck? What is wrong with this woman? What is wrong with her? Who gets tired to pump uh, from pumping gas that they can't put their child back in the car seat? And if you're leaving a hospital with this baby in the, maybe the hospital don't give a damn either because they supposed to make sure you have a car seat when the baby goes home. They supposed to make sure of that. They even made sure of that back in the 90s when I had my first child. That was in the 90s. That was 30 some years ago. Okay. And I have four children and all four of them, they made sure that I had a car seat because they wheel you out. But her baby didn't go home with her. He was still in the NICU. She left the hospital, but he had to stay. He had to stay probably like a month or so because he was premature. Okay. So there goes that. But when he was to come home, they still have to make sure they send a nurse down there with you to make sure he's in a car seat. That's the first thing they ask you. Well, they asked me that. I don't know what they asked her, but they should have. If they didn't, they don't give a damn. They didn't give a damn. And to see that car seat, if she had that, if that's the car seat that she took that baby home in, they should have told her that's the wrong car seat. That's a car seat for a baby that's mm, probably six, seven months. That's a, around maybe 12 or 13 pounds, maybe, give or take. Not for a baby that's still small and look like he's swimming in that car seat. And it's facing the wrong way. She may probably had it rear facing, but now it's facing 
forward. And it's too big for him. That hence, that's why she got the towels around him. And towels, they sell car seats with the little pillow attached to it. So his head can, I know that baby probably like, oh man, he probably don't even sleep. And then he be crying every time she's on live. Girl, turn the damn camera off. Tend to your baby. It's like she don't have no motherly instant, no love for her child. She say she do. She come on this camera. The love for social media, the love for camera. For what? You're a mother now. You're blessed with a child. Why aren't you loving your child? Why aren't you there for your child? Why are you giving all these strange people attention that you should be giving to your child? That's my thing that irks me about this girl. I would think, I would have thought that this baby having this baby, I was I was even praying, y'all. I'm, I'm for real. True facts. I was praying that this girl, I'm like, oh, Lord. She's having this baby now. She lied years ago about being pregnant. Doctor told her to be pregnant for 11 months and this and that. And now she's not. Now she has a chance. She's pregnant. She had the baby. I thought this was, I was like, Lord, please let this straighten her up. I was thinking this baby was going to make her, you know, a mother, a be, be, you know, Change, make her change. But this girl is still with the nonsense. She still had a love for social media. I don't understand it. Is they pay you that much money for you not to attend to your child? I don't think so. You got to have so much of this and so much of that in order to make a decent amount of money on social media. Is that worth your child? It must be for her. But she said on this video, some of my supporters I seen was in that comment section. I think she got me blocked because I was just giving her some motherly advice and this, this broad blocked me. She blocked me, y'all. I'm still blocked because I go back and look and see if my comment there, it ain't there. Sometimes I be in, when she go live, I go on her live chat and I click off and then click back on, see if my comment there in the chat, nothing. It's not there because she blocked me. You know, blocked me for no reason. I didn't say anything bad about it. I didn't call her no name. I didn't say nothing. I was giving her some advice. It wasn't motherly advice. It was, it was way before she even had this child. It was years ago. She blocked me. And I and one of her moderators, I don't think she did it, but one of her moderators blocked me. And I don't even think this person moderates for her anymore. So it is what it is. But, you know, I don't even try to make up another page and try to go on there and say anything because it's irrelevant. So I got a channel now. I'm going to say what I want to say on here. And I'm still not saying anything bad. It's just y'all go look at her videos. It's sad. I see some of my. Um, some of my supporters, people, <laughs> you know, that being they was in her comments, I was like, Lord, yes, y'all are so right. And it's a lot of them saying the same thing I'm saying right now. How do you get tired from pumping gas and you're just standing there? And it, even if so, I mean, I can understand you saying you tired of pumping gas, what you had to walk around the car to pump the gas. What? Why are you so tired? Of pumping gas, and you're just standing there putting a nozzle in the gas tank. And, and sometimes you could just let the nozzle go. What your hand hurt because you're holding on to the gas handles and, and pump while the gas going in the tank? I don't understand. What's, what's making you so tired? You don't have to walk that far to the tank, do you? <laughs> like, really? Who says things like that? Only Shanae. And then she said, oh, I forgot to put my son, your son right there in your mother's lap. And you would think her mother would say something. What? Like, I'm thinking, what's wrong with her mom? What is wrong with her mother? And at times you can hear on her some of her lives, 
Her mother talking like they are sisters. I would never. Me and my mother never had a conversation like that. We never sit like we sisters or we best friends. I sit there and cuss right in front of my mama. We sitting there having a, 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 a girlfriend talk like that. No, I never, never. Me and my mother never. She sit there and cuss in front of her mother. I don't care how old I was. When I moved out of my mother's house, I was 20, 20, 25, 25 or 26. 25 or 26. I still, oh, you know, um, obeyed my mother. I didn't ever curse around her. Now, if I cursed, I cursed when she wasn't there. Or I cussed outside. I never disrespected my mother's house. Well, I did one time. I had company when I wasn't supposed to, but whatever. You know, that's that's just here. They're all teenagers. And well, I ain't talking about when I was grown, but I disrespected when I was a teenager. A teenager, young, 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 young lady. Um, before I was a teenager and when I was a teenager, whatever. But as I was, you know, got older and at 26, I had two children, two children. Never disrespect my mother's house. I still had to do what I had to do. I worked, provided for my kids. My mother still had her job. Everybody worked in the household. I had to work double. My mother didn't really have to take care of me. She provided still a roof over my head because I haven't moved out yet. But I had double responsibility, double responsibility to keep upkeep my part of the house. And I had two children that I had to take care of, that I had responsibility for. So, you know, but I never disrespect. But her, her, her mother sit over there, they cuss, she cuss in front of her mother, she have a conversation and with cuss words and everything in it. I would never do that. So it make me think, what's wrong with her mama? Her mama is something else too. And her, for her mama to sit there and have that baby in that front seat while her daughter driving that car like a bat out of hell. Well, I, don't, I ain't gonna say she was driving like a bat out of hell, but she was driving it. Seen dude with put the camera on him, act like she liked this dude. She probably did. Because there's some videos about her and this dude. So y'all can go check it out. But I ain't going to go there. My thing is getting triggered about her. Talking about she tapped for pumping gas. So she forgot to put the baby in the car, back in the car seat. And clear as day, uh, somebody was holding that. Somebody is your mother. Just say it. We all see who it is. Because you pointed the camera over there. And why would you do that? Then you wonder why people call CPS on you doing stupid shit like that. Who does stupid shit like that, Shanae? A lot of some some other people probably do too, but we see Shanae doing it. Then get mad when people do reaction videos on it because you're doing dumb shit. I ain't for the one calling CPS, but you know. That is putting that baby's life in danger. More than likely, she probably didn't have a seatbelt on either. Or her mother didn't look like her mother had one on. But to put your baby, your innocent baby's life in danger like that. And then come do a video the next day talking about you was tired from pumping gas. When you, when you pump gas, you only standing there putting a nozzle in the gas tank, waiting for it to stop on whatever you stop it at. And you're just standing there. You can lean up against the car. You can even get your ass back in the car and wait for the pump to stop if you're not filling it up. But that may be too tiring for you to get go back in the car and then get back out and and uh when it's when the uh when the uh tank stops. So I could see if it was that, but it wasn't even that case. You said you was tired after pumping the gas. 
Like, who gets tired from pumping gas? Them people was in that comment going at her ass. And they right. Who gets tired from pumping gas? Wow. Then you say you forgot to put him in the car seat. That's what got me. And then your mother sitting up there holding him, not being in the car seat. I don't care if the police was to stop you. They don't care if you was, say you was just going down the street. You were still supposed to strap him in the car seat. He is not supposed to be in that front seat. No time, not not even in a seat, a regular seat belt. He's supposed to be in that car seat, and the car seat is supposed to be facing the rear, not forward facing. That is so crazy. Well, I don't have no visuals for y'all, but y'all can go check out her video. I just watched it. I ain't watch all of it, but I just watched what I need to watch in here. I really can't stand her voice because she talk like she kind of talk on her tongue like she got a real big tongue. And it's kind of hard to decipher what she's saying sometimes. And then she always laying down and then you always hear that baby like he's in distress in the background. He's in distress. He's always crying. And it's not a normal cry. This is a cry like this baby needs something. Or something is seriously wrong. We're not going to even bring up the apple juice incident when this baby was still an infant. When this baby was like maybe two months old. Right out the hospital. She giving this baby a two month old apple juice. And I don't even think she diluted it. She said the doctor told her, to, I guess because he was constipated or something. They have Miralax and stuff like that for babies to put in their water or they even juice. And I know about that because my son had that. And he was a baby. He had that problem. And yes, I'm putting it out there, but it is what it is. My youngest, he had that and they gave him Miralax. It's unflavored, it's unscented, it's a powder. Not that I didn't put it in his milk. They told me to put it in. He wasn't old enough for juice or anything. I had to put it in his um in water. And you can even put it in their food. So I think I well, he wasn't on food then either. He well, I don't think he was he wasn't constipated as a, a two month old. I think he had he was a little bit older. So I was putting it in like I think he was like on juice. Um, and I used to put it in like, um, water, his water and stuff like that. But she giving this baby apple juice. Cause she said the doctor told her that who does that? Whoever told her that need to be slapped. And I, I believe a doctor did not tell her to give this baby no apple juice for constipation. And I never heard you give apple juice for constipation. Now, apple juice, on the other hand, will make you do the other one, number one, not number two. I never heard that in my life. A two-month-old apple juice? Oh, y'all, go check it out if y'all want to. Y'all might get triggered, too, because it's crazy. Y'all can go watch Keeping It Real TV with Regina. Um, It's not with Regina, but it's called Keeping It Real TV. Her name is Regina. That's her channel. Um, she got it on there. It's, the proof is in the pudding that she got the baby, but she clarified that. It ain't, it ain't, that's not a lie that Shanae, that that wasn't her, because that was her taping dude. To my look at him here. And the dude wasn't even paying attention to her. He didn't even know that was, probably didn't even know that was her driving around him, stalking him, taping, videotaping him. Driving around in the car without her child in the car seat. He had a story to tell, too. <laughs> so y'all can go check it out on Regina's. And y'all can even go to her her channel. This girl is a fucking mess. Me and she wonder why people say the stuff they say about her because she doing this shit. You got a child, lady. Be a mother to your son. 
yeah, we may not know when when the camera is off what's going on, but when that camera is on, we know, we can hear your baby with them screeching cries. That's not a normal cry. We have seen you on your live video that you put out here that Zach, maybe Zach is not in a car seat. Your mother is holding him. But your excuse, you tired from pumping gas. Wow. <laughs> Whew. Woosa moment, y'all. Woosa. Shanae, get it together. I don't know what it's going to take for you to get it together. It seems like your mother can't do anything with you either. Can't teach you nothing either. It's sad. Your mother just brought you in this world. Who took care of you? I guess she probably say, well, you on your own, that's your baby. That's what it seemed like to me. Wow. But y'all, I'm about to get up off of here. That's all I wanted to say. That kind of triggered me. Like, and then to hear her come back with a wannabe rebuttal video talking all this mess. She tired from pumping gas. So you won't put your son back in the car seat and your mother ain't sitting there with the baby in, in her damn lap. She could have put him in the car seat if you so tired from pumping gas. Woo. All right, y'all. Y'all hit that like button. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. I already know what some of y'all are going to think. Unless they riding with her. If anybody think that is okay, something is fucking wrong with y'all too. If anybody think that is okay, what she is doing, Y'all need something. Y'all need somebody. Something. I mean, something is wrong with y'all too. And something needs to seriously be done about that. All right, y'all. I'm up out of here. And thanks again for the 400. I'm over 400. Woohoo. Thank, thank you to all my subscribers. I'll see y'all again soon. All right, y'all. I'm up out of here. Bye. Fact, fantasy, and history have come together to tease the imagination. Imagination.